Hey, ELA fans, it's me, Mr. Wells, and I'm hoping that with this video, this will be your last assignment, full assignment of the school year of two, uh, 2021. Um, but basically, we've been talking about the research paper, MLA research paper. You did note cards. You did an outline. If you did a really good detailed outline, you basically almost have your paper written because the paper's five paragraphs. It is a introduction, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. But the main thing that we're focusing on, we want to focus on, is citing your sources well in that paper. Okay? So think about it. You've got your note cards, but in your note cards, um, you have just you know, the information that you need. But on the other hand, uh, if you were taking a class that wasn't an English class in high school, when you take maybe a history or science class and your teacher has you write a paper or that happens in junior college or whenever, so, sometime down the road, um, you are going to um, be in a situation where you're not going to submit your research like as your note cards. You're going to have to put your research in the paper. And that's what we're doing here. This is uh, we're going to do two things. One is called a works cited page, and the other is called in-text citation. Okay, so on your screen there, we've got the sample paper here, and we want to start out uh, with a title here. The title, you did an invention that was invented before 1950, so we're going to do invention of the widget, okay, whatever that is. And then your paper is going... Uh, to be here and so uh, that's you know the text of your paper okay now I want to skip down because what you're going to do is you're going to create a second page and on your and I'm just going down till I get to a second page it has to be on a different page than the body of the paper itself and on that second page let's see what's going on here on that second page you are going to create what is called a works cited page. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So here's how that works. You're going to center it. You're going to title that second page works cited. Okay. And you're going to put a double space there. And then we're going to enter our uh, works. Okay. In other words, are things that we got from our note card. Now this is, um, let's see. Oh, that's the wrong one here. That was your research topic. I don't want that here. Research note card format. I'm going to use these. These were your examples um, that were on your Google Classroom under your writing tab. Um, I'm just going to use this. Um, as an example here. Okay, so let's uh, go down here for a second. Um, okay, this is one of the sources that we had here. And, um, you know, this is how it appeared on my note card. This is my note card right here. Um, and I'm going to take that source, and just like it was on my note card, I'm going to take and I'm going to put it in my work cited. Okay. Um, all right, so I copied and pasted onto my work cited, and I've got that here. So it's going to be formatted exactly the same with one exception. On your, uh, on your work cited page, you want to put it uh, so that the author's last name goes first. And, and then you're going to put last name, comma, first name, period. Everything else is the same. And the reason you want to do that is because we're going to put the sources in alphabetical order. So let's see here. We, uh, you know, for some reason, Cardi B Making History apparently has to do with the um, invention of the widget. Your sources are all going to actually have to do with your paper. But we're going to put ours here. Um, and the next one here is going to be this book by Anne Frank. Okay, so we look in the alphabet, and uh, we have Mamo is M, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N. Okay, so we have um, 
and Frank comes first. So we're going to have uh, that first, okay? So here we have this. We're going to put Frank and, okay? And now we have two sources. You're going to have at least three sources for your paper, so we're going to go ahead and do another source here. Now, probably all three of your sources, unless you've been using a book or that you got from home or at the library, all three of your sources are going to be internet sources, um, but the, some of the samples that I have here are, um, are book sources, and you can use those too. Uh, let's see. Okay, Agatha Christie, Murder on the Orient Express. So that's Christie. C comes before F. So I want to put that up here, again, in alphabetical order. And we're going to put um, Agatha Christie, Murder on the Orient Express. So now I have three sources. Um, all of these things, I'm sure, are very educational. All have to do with the invention of the widget. Now I've got my Works Cited page set up. Now you might have some questions here. One question might be, what happens if I don't have an author? Some of you, uh, some of you did not have, um, uh, you, you don't have an author with your source. You got an internet site only has the name of the article. If all it has is the name of the article. You're going to pretend you're, like the article uh, is the author because you're just going to use it as the first thing. So the first letter of the title of the article is going to be uh, it is going to be what it is. So in this case, if Heron Mama wasn't there, we would put C. We would put this under C, and then C A Cardi comes before C H, and that would go up here. Okay, it would go above Agatha Christie. Um, all right, so that's what you do if you don't have the name of author. Now, it is kind of tricky sometimes because, like this one, if Anne Frank wasn't there, um, we would put it under D for diary because this is a part of speech, a type of adjective known as an article, a, an, and the. If your title starts with a, an, or the, you skip that. You don't count that towards the alphabetical order, okay? So we're talking alphabetical order by author's last name, last name, comma, first name, period. Then the rest of your uh, rest of your entry, just like it is on your note card, and we want to put them in alphabetical order. One other thing we want to do is hanging indent. You probably remember what indenting is. Indenting, I'm going to hit the tab button there and I've indented this paragraph. In the body text of your paper, your, your, uh, your paper should be indented. But that's what we call regular indent. In your Works Cited page, we use what's called hanging indent. Hanging indent, okay? Hanging indent, we're gonna highlight all of this after we're done here, and we are gonna go to Format, and we're going to go to align and indent, uh, and we're going to go to indentation options, and we're going to go to special indent. You might say, well, man, this is really complicated. I haven't found a better way to do it on Google Docs. Um, if you can, wonderful. We're going to go to special indent, and we're going to click hanging, and we're going to hit apply. There we have it. So what a hanging indent is, it's basically a reverse indent where the first line is not indented, but all your other lines are indented. And that's how you want to set up your Works Cited page. Okay, so we got the Works Cited page set up, but while we're writing our paper, we also want to use what is called in-text citation. In-text citation is very important, okay? So if I said to you, um, in, what does that mean to you, in-text citation? I hope that you would maybe come up with um, some kind of idea like, um, you know, it's citation or listing your sources inside the text. You have to have a work cited page at the bottom of your paper, but you also have to use in-text citation. Everything that is in 
your works cited page also must be in your paper. And if it's in your paper, it must be in your works cited page. So let's look at it here together. In-text citation is very important. So we're going to be talking about Cardi B. Cardi B is a great rapper, okay? Well, where did I get that information from? Well, I probably got it from the source down here about Cardi B. Cardi B makes history as Bodak Yellow is certified diamond. Well, that was by Heron Mamo, so that's Mamo. What we're going to do is we're going to put uh, Cardi B is a great rapper. We're going to put Mamo in parentheses, just the author's last name, and that's it. Boom, and that's it. You, you've done your in-text citation, okay? You might be asking, well, how, what information does that give me? Well, what it does is it gives you the reader a clue to say, oh, that's an in-text citation, Mamo. So if I really want to know who wrote that, then I can go down to the work cited page, look up Mamo, and say, oh, that's it. That's the article it came from. Now, on the other hand, again, let's say you don't have, uh, you, know, you know, in the next paragraph, there is no uh, author for your website. Okay, so what would you do then? Well, let's say that that one was the case. You might do something like this. Cardi B is a great rapper, and we're going to pretend there was no author on that, and we're going to put the name of the article. Cardi B makes history as Bodak Yellow is certified diamond, in parentheses, and then in quotations, because it... In, Articles are named in quotations. Cardi B makes history as Bodak Yellow is certified diamond. Okay? And in quotes, we're going to put parentheses and put the period at the end. Okay? Now, I want to go back because I want to make sure I did everything right here. It needs to be exactly as it appears here. Oh! Okay, I spelled Bodak wrong, and I didn't put Bodak yellow in quotes. So I want to make sure that I get that here uh, as well. Okay, remember, everything has to be exactly as it is on the source card, and hopefully that means everything on your source card is exactly right. Okay, that's why I had to do the note cards. That's why I had to do the note card revision so that everything would be exactly right. All right. So that's how you cite it in. So anytime you quote something, anytime you paraphrase something, even you change it and put it in your own words, if you got that information from somewhere else, you have to cite it. Okay? And if you have to, and if you cite it in your paper, it needs to be using in-text citation, just like this, properly formatted. And if it's in-text citation, it needs to also appear in your work cited. Okay, so what's your assignment? Well, assignment is write your paper. Five paragraphs. Introduction, three body paragraphs, conclusion. You're going to use three sources. You're going to use the work, you do a work cited page at the end and use in-text citation. All right? So there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. Let me know. Make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe, enable your notifications so you can see all my great videos. And remember that today is a great day for ELA. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn this thing off.